I wanted to share with you my earring collection. I have this love for dangly fun earrings and since I'm an art teacher at a school, I love wearing different ones. You can see I've got all kinds of colors and designs and themes. Of course, a couple artsy ones. Just can never have enough fun earrings. I'm always on the lookout. You see my little balloon animal dogs. I've got owls. Some little beach glass, butterfly wings. Candy corn are a huge hit around Halloween. Got cute little llama earrings. There's always something fun to wear. Of course, I have to have something with every outfit. Got some fancier ones, some rock ones, my little gumball machines, you name it. All kinds of fun stuff. So one of my students has been begging me to do a video on how to do earrings. So of course I just couldn't resist. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna start off by making two of the little hooks that you put in your ears. And then I'm just gonna start off with some circle earrings. I'll just show you a variety of different styles. These almost look like donuts or rings. I'm going to make another set, also using the little earring hooks. Dangly earrings are definitely my favorite. And this time, I'm going to make something a little bit more fun, like the world. I actually used to have some world earrings. I don't know what happened to them, but they were always fun to wear when talking about geography or doing some type of fun worldly project. Notice that I kind of have my earrings overlapping a little bit, so you can tell they're a pair. But if you'd rather just draw them side by side and not overlapping, you could totally do that too. These ones I decided to go with a shape, in this case a heart. I mean, you can really play with whatever kind of design you want. I just wanted to try a variety of different earring designs. Next, I'm gonna do like the post earrings. So I start with a little circle, a line, and then add that little clasp that goes on the back to make sure that it stays on your ear. And I decided to do Another little bead that goes down, and then maybe long skinny earrings. Here's some more hook ones. This time I thought it would be fun to do an animal. And I actually do have earrings similar to this. Add a little ring there, and then some little fish. And I like too, some of the earrings that I've bought bring back memories of where I bought them. And I bought these little white fish earrings when I was on a trip in Florida, uh, visiting the beach. And so every time I see them now, I think of my trip. It brings back good memories. I also have honeybee earrings, and so I decided to draw those as well. And this was kind of fun. I went to a wedding, and our party favor was a little jar of honey, and they had these little charms on them that looked like bumblebees. And so I took the charms off and instead turned them into earrings, and they're one of my favorite pairs to wear, uh, usually in the summertime. I do that a lot. I look for bracelet charms or other different things too, and then I just add the hooks on and turn them into earrings. So I've done kind of a, a wide variety of things like that. Usually I can find more fun, um, abstract type things. Like I have a charm that I found of gumball machines, and so that was my gumball machine earrings. I turned them into and I had another one of the little balloon dogs that I showed you. Those also were charms that I turned into earrings. So they're a lot of fun. Here are my little gumball machines. So I'm just looking for the kind of basic shapes. And 
we'll add the little gumballs inside. It's actually kind of fun because I am teaching gumball machines this week for art. And so of course I will be wearing those earrings when I teach. Here I wanted to make some earrings. They, they almost look like a coin and then they have trees on them. I actually have earrings like this too. Um, so it's kind of fun. You could just take whatever little drawing that you want to do and put it on a circular disc and use that for earring design. These earrings are going to be artist palettes and I actually went into the miniature section of the store where all of the dollhouse furniture is and there was um, an art palette that you could put in your dollhouse. So I bought two of them and I added a little thing to the back of them and turned them into earrings. And I use those a lot of the times when I'm teaching art or I'm having an art party. They are super fun to wear. These I just wanted to do kind of like these tassel earrings. I have some like this that I like to wear in like Cinco de Mayo or fiesta days they're kind of fun you can make them all different colors so yeah you can really get creative with this you can do it after some of the earrings that you own or you can design some uh, new ones here you can see I've added color to all of the different earrings I went for a lot of different fun colors and styles so again just get creative with it have fun and I hope you enjoy. And there they are as the masterpiece. And I also wanted to do another one just showing you um, how you might do them if you just wanted to do an earring like on an ear. So here's a super, super fast tutorial. I drew all the ears first, as you could see, and then just wanted to design some of the earrings on the ears as well do the different kinds a little butterfly wing cats chandelier earrings i used to wear a lot of those and then of course coloring them in so if you wanted to go ahead and do them on an ear this would be what i would recommend otherwise you can do just the set like i did before so, so many different fun things you can design. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe down below.